very small video. It's the 29th of April 2029. April is nearly gone. And it's been a sad grey April. Very few days. Probably count them on one hand of sunshine. April usually full of hope. Bright crisp days. Blue skies, no way. But you come up in the wood. The last green is appearing. Yeah, tomorrow will be the last day of April. I always look forward to April from October onwards. I can't wait for April. And April is gone. And I call it a very sad April. Um, dear, yeah. I call it a sad April this year. We need hope in our world, but when you come up in the wood here, you get it. Life is coming to life. I'm not going to do too much videoing because I'll tell you why. I haven't brought the charger and this camera has been playing up a lot. I really want it to last until I get to the other side of the wood, the, the north side where the bluebells should be in full swing. Now if you go down in the valleys here, there will be lots of bluebells and I can see a few here. Yeah, I can see a few. I haven't done this walk for a while. I think I might have done it once in the winter. And you can still see quite a long way at the moment. It's not fully um, filled up with green. Let me see some of the bluebells up. Pretty, 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 pretty bluebells. Which are at their peak, really. I'm hoping in one of the... Before the end of the first week in May, I, I, I was hoping just to have a quick peek down this just one little section of Longwood where the wild garlic and the bluebells come out. Now one day this week I'm going over to Rowbarrow Warren. Hope to do the hill fort and then up through Happy Valley with beautiful bluebells. And I'll get an indication then of um, how well everything's doing. That's Thursday. Thursday's supposed to be a good day. It'll be Thursday the 2nd of May. But look, look at all this. It's coming, 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 coming. Right, over and out for a minute. Very I've got a small battery. video. I'm pro gradually progressing. You've got to remember, you, when I show you bits of video, you're never seeing most of a video, most of my walk. I'm only showing you snippets. So when I'm on like a big eight hour hike, you're not seeing every minute of it. I just do highlights. So I progress quite a way through the beautiful wood. In the old east, southeast side of the wood this is. Where you do tend to get a lot of old yew trees. And they don't seem to have done any clearing up this end. Not yet, anyway. You still get the occasional indentation. Now, whether that is man-made from the Second World War or whether it was Iron Age, who knows. But at any point now, you can keep going up and join the main path if you like. There's lots of different paths here, there and everywhere. And um, it feels like it's going to absolutely bucket down in a minute. So I'm glad I've got out doing a little bit of this part of the wood because this wood, as the lush green leaves grow, will become more and more isolated if you like because you can't you won't be able to see so far through it but there's quite a, a wind blowing above us we're protected to a certain extent inside the wood 
in the old trees. So here she is, she's back to see us again. I've seen a few people in the distance, not far away really, walking with their dogs. Somebody coming now. Bloke with a dog. Right, well, you're not going to believe this, folks. I've just managed to take a couple of photos of a lovely, pretty little fox. He let me take his photo. He sat there and he looked at me. And he said, go on, you can take my portrait, Sheila. So I didn't bother doing a video. And now I spoke to him and he ran off. But he sat over there. I've got a really good picture, a close-up and a more further away one of him. He's pretty. He's an orange and white... The lovely, he's a lovely, lovely fox. I'm so happy to have met him. And he was just over there. And he, he stopped as if to say, hello, human. Yeah, he was just, he was just over there. He probably could even have his den over that way, see? I won't go and hunt him down. It's nice just to have said hello and he's gone just gone like that I'm too lucky I was just coming up here because I wanted to see if that was wild garlic and it is that's wild garlic down there it is out already oh, I don't know if it's early so I definitely need um, a long wood walk really not to go in the wood deep because you're not you're not really supposed to yeah, so he was stood, he was just over there by that big tall tree. As I and I saw him from the angle over there, and then he sat there for quite a while, and then he just ran that way behind that big log. Gone now, it's bad. It's such a blessing when you see an animal. This is their home. This wood is their home. <coughs> So to, if the wild garlic is out here, it means it's going to be out everywhere, doesn't it? <coughs> so I mean, I wasn't expecting to see wild garlic, I must admit. And I'm sure there's more bluebells this side than usual. Oh, what was that? Something going on over there, frightening some birds. Magpie, you're a bit alerted by that sound of something going. Could have been a tree falling. It is quite windy up there. It, it sounded like a tree falling. <sighs> yeah, that's made my day seeing that fox. I've now got a really beautiful picture of a fox. First one this year of 2024. And he sat there so relaxed. And he said, go on, take my photo. He's really pretty. It might have been a girl fox, I mean, I don't really know. I'm so happy to have met that fox. That sort of brightens you right up, doesn't it? I and mean, look at this lovely wood we've got. It's so much more lush up this end than the fort end now. The fort end used to be green and lush like this. And they stripped it all naked. Yeah, that was probably a tree falling, or a branch. Um, frightened the magpies. Oh, I think I can see somebody coming. In this area of the wood where I'm walking now, back in 1987, when we first came to live in Somerset again, a woman was murdered in this area. Stabbed to death by they never found the murderer and um, it's believed she might have known the person or befriended a young man. She had her dogs with her as well and um, a friend nearby thought she heard somebody scream and um, yeah 
It's one of those unsolved mysteries. But of course the hill fort is known for slaughter and fighting and war. Tribes used to fight here. But it is a lovely wood. It's lovely and peaceful. And I do like to get up this end as well as the other end. I do like to visit this end. throughout the year. I don't make that many visits because I've got a lot of other walking to do. But of course there's a bus stop nearby which at the moment the bus doesn't come to anymore but you never know they might reinstate it again. They might do, might not they? Somewhere around here they might have even taken it away. Oh! Must be another tree falling. Sounded like a gun. Let's go and have a look. Be careful, Sheila. I wonder if that came out on my my camera, that noise. It's over here. Loud, loud bang. I wonder what it was. Really loud bang. I don't want to venture over there too far in case it is somebody with a gun. Oh, it was very loud. And that's twice I heard it. I mean, unless there's somebody in there clearing the wood a bit. It was exactly the sound same loud bang as what I heard when I was further down and it did sound like a tree cracking and falling hmm very strange but I, like I said I'm not going to venture there just in case there's something I don't know going on Anyway, I've got to turn off again. Like I said, I've brought the battery with charger with me and I'm not even on the main bluebell side of the wood yet. There we are, there are some bluebells. The side. That is weird that, isn't it? That bang. That crash. I did think I saw somebody earlier. Look at that, that's a nice little picture, isn't it? There, look with these. Let me turn off and take a picture.